Look who I'm with. We're shopping. We're thrifting today. We're at Ark Value Village up in Crystal. Is that what you said it is? New Hope? I don't, I don't know. We're north and west of the city. Northwest. We're with Grandma. And it's 50% off pink tags. In today's video, I'm taking you thrifting with me at a thrift store as well as to a yard sale that we found along the way. So here we go. Okay, the scoop is two of them say nest, one says amour. That one looks different, it has color on it. And then two of them say chirp, really cute. So I might grab them. I'm gonna keep them in my cart for now. When I go thrifting, I'm looking for items that I can use in my home or to decorate my home, as well as items to put in my booth at a vintage shop at a town nearby. The shop is called the Pink Elephant and it's located in Hopkins, Minnesota. On this day, I was looking for items to restock my booth, as well as anything that looked interesting for my home decor. In my kitchen, I have a decorative rod on the side of my island, and I was looking at this potentially to hang on the decorative rod. I have an idea to flip it into something for the patriotic holidays, which I'll tell you a little bit more about later. I really should have picked this up for my shop. It was super cute and it would have only been 50 cents. Just wasn't thinking in the moment. And I loved this cross stitch clock. It had the wrong letter on it. I could have undone the J and put my letter there, but I didn't want to go through the trouble. I do love candle snuffers, but I didn't love the color of this one. I prefer them in brass and I like them to be a little older with some patina. So I did leave that one behind. I got super excited when I saw this clock and I totally would have bought it for my home, but look at that price, $17.99, what? I don't even think I'd charge that much in my booth at the Pink Elephant. So no, I was not gonna be bringing that home. And I thought these were really pretty, you know, if you've watched me at all, you know, I collect blue and white, but bowls are hard to display, so I don't pick them up as often. As I was editing this, I was kind of having regret over not picking this up. I don't pick up sugar bowls generally that are standalone. I usually just go for the pitchers, but I'm thinking maybe I'll start a little blue and white sugar bowl collection because they are pretty with their lovely little handles. So we'll see, that's something I'm thinking about. I really like these little spice jars with the strawberries on them. I thought they were super cute. I 
I thought this was really neat. It was from Pennsylvania. And I think it's funny that they were calling what I think are just stick pretzels, cocktail sticks, much fancier. Hello, you all. I hope you enjoyed coming with me to the thrift store. I believe it was Arc Value Village. We still don't know the town. I think it's Crystal or New Hope, not sure. There's only one up there, so whatever it is, you can see it on a map. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got. Now you saw my mom and my mother-in-law and my daughter, Molly, were with me. They weren't in the footage because when we go thrifting, we go in and we scatter because we all like to look at different things. But um, my mother, and my mother-in-law doesn't buy much because she takes a plane to get here, but she did buy something at the second or third thrift store that we went to, which is not gonna be in this video. I'm gonna put up another video later in the week of the other two stores that we went to. And I also have her doing a little bit of a haul of some things that she bought. So that's cool. And I'm actually gonna drive some of it out to her. Um, I was like, yeah, I'll put it in the car and drive it to you this summer when we go visit. So, so that's good. I was glad that she found some stuff, but I'll go ahead and show you what I got. Molly got a bunch of clothes as usual. <laughs> okay, and it is currently Memorial Day and I'm filming this probably like two hours before you'll see it. I got really um, behind on what I planned to do today because we decided to go to the bins this morning and then we went to Goodwill. So I didn't get done what I meant to do. And I'll insert some footage of the sky. I'm racing against the clock right now because we're supposed to get some bad storms. Hopefully they won't be as bad as they're saying. <sighs> they said we could have strong tornadoes. I'm like, I do not like the sound of that. So we're gonna be prepared and be in the basement if we need to be, but that's what's happening. Hopefully I'll get this to you before that happens. You can see the clouds moving in. Could get interesting tonight. Okay, I'm gonna show you something boring first. These I found, they were did not show up in the footage, but I got these two things for my booth at the shop. So a lot of the sellers, basically the idea is have a lot of light and they clip these to their shelves and then you just kind of shine it down on your booth because people are drawn to light, like mosquitoes. <laughs> so anyway, I got these, they were $2.99 a piece. They're expensive to buy clip lights, believe it or not. So I was happy to find those for my shop. Okay, and other things I got, I did pick this up and I told you I would mention what I'm going to do. I had wanted to get it done for today and it just didn't happen. So I'll get it done for the 4th of July. But I thought, you know, Dollar Tree has those little window clings. I'm gonna get some of the patriotic window clings and put a really cute one here. I thought that would be adorable because then I can have, I can always take it off if I want to, but it'll be so cute hanging on my little decorative rod with a little patriotic window cling. Uh-oh, we're getting some drops. Hopefully it doesn't start to rain rain before I'm done with this. Okay, and then I did pick up these plates. I'll open them for you. I did open them in the store because I don't wanna buy something if I haven't really seen it. So I got two that say nest. So there's this one and then another one, which is in really bad shape actually. It has a lot of crazing. So I don't know if I'll keep that one. Sorry if my nails are a little, I've tried to clean them for you, but I've been gardening a lot and it's kind of hard to keep them clean. But anyway, so two that say nest, I'm trying to get to the other one. This is the other one. Oh no, the nest one is in good shape. Oh, it's a more that's in bad shape. Okay, so this is actually in good shape. So I'm gonna keep these two. And then this one I'm probably not gonna keep. It's the same brand, Magenta, but uh, it's not my thing and it's really crazed. Crazy, it has a lot of crazing, which on a modern dish is not as appealing. So I'll probably get rid of that one. But then I'm gonna keep these two. Chirp, oh my gosh, aren't they so cute? and they are food safe dishwasher safe microwave safe so we can actually use these i think they're so cute ah, i love them okay so i got those for 2.99 that was a really good deal if i seem like i'm rushing it's because i'm afraid of the weather i don't want to get rained on okay and then i also picked this up 2.99 it's i believe it's depression glass pink depression glass i thought it was gorgeous divided dish. I don't pick up a lot of depression glass, but this was, unless it glows, but I thought this was really pretty. And for $2.99, I don't think I got any pink tags. Oh, well, that's all right. Um, but I thought that was a good deal. Okay. And then I also picked up, oh, this is for the shop. So this was only 99 cents. 
and things like this sell. The youths come in and they like things like this for their apartments and stuff. It's just a, it's a glass vase, but I thought it was cool. It's made in China, but the youths don't care. <laughs> They're not as worried about where something's made. Um, so I thought that was really pretty for them. So that'll go to the shop. And then, oh, I love this cocktail sticks. Isn't that funny? I'm like, they're pretzels, right? High grade bakery company, Philadelphia, which, you know, I'm from New Jersey. So that was cool to find. I'm going to stick this on top of my kitchen cabinets and probably put a pothos plant shoot, like a, a plant shoot in it, um, in a pot, you know, I'm not going to, because it's kind of rusty inside, but ah, oh, I love that graphic. I think that's fantastic. Maybe this will be my thumbnail. Mm, thumbnail. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to take a picture. So that was really, really cool. I love it. And then the last thing I got was a total splurge. This was a splurge, but oh, this wasn't in the, the footage because I found it very last minute. Like, I think I was on my way to the register, but it is Longaberger pottery. It's an airplane. I told you I'm in the flight path for Minneapolis airport and it gets a little loud at this time of day, usually in the afternoons. Anyway, I love this. It's probably gonna sit on my kitchen table, maybe with some fresh flowers. And once my like garden gets going, I can put flowers from my garden in it. Oh, I think it's gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? I love the Longer Burger pottery. It's not that popular. Oh, it was a splurge because it was $7.99. But I really liked it. And it's not even like it's worth a lot online. That's probably what you'd pay online plus shipping, but maybe a little more. I looked some of them up. I'm not reselling it. I I'm keeping it because I love it. So anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna go to a yard sale now. It's actually an estate sale. It's gonna be fun. Let's go. We stopped at this little yard sale, which actually was what the man said was an estate sale. His mom had passed away and he and his wife were responsible to get rid of all of her things. And the way he had it set up, you'll see this was the $1 table. And then there was a $2 table and also a $3 table. liked this knife holder and I love that it had the letter E on it because my mom's name was Elizabeth so this made me think of her. I wonder if his mom's name was Elizabeth. I didn't think to ask. It was neat to see a folk art plate, but it was in pretty rough shape. If it had been in better shape, I probably would have picked it up because I actually don't have any of the dinner plates and I really don't see them very often. That might be the first time I've ever seen a dinner plate since I've been looking for them, but I did not pick that up. So now we're moving on to the $3 table. I thought these little duck planters were really cute. I never see these out and about. And then I saw them at this sale and then I saw them again this past Friday. They are ladies shoe stretchers from probably the 30s or 40s. I thought they were really fun. Some people you'll see display them in like a vase, almost like as a floral arrangement. Really cute. And a little thrifter's regret here. I should have picked up those green dishes you see there. I didn't even see them until I was editing the video. I have been picking those up for my shop because the green glass and the amber glass have been selling really well for me. And here's the question of the day. What is this? It's not a funnel. It doesn't have a clapper, so it's not a bell. I have no idea. Does anyone have a clue what that is? I think it was made of copper or brass. Could not tell you what it was for. And 
and here in the center was the bargain table so these items were all four for a dollar so 25 cents a piece that was very cool i had this i have this tray already but they were stuck together i don't show you here but there's actually a second one behind it that i had never seen before so that was kind of a new and fun discovery for me Okay, so now I'm going to show you what I got at the estate sale. So what do I want to show you first? I got a lot of good stuff. This was part of my, I'm just pulling stuff out of the bag. So it might be a little out of order from the video, but I got this on the 25 cent sale. Look at all that great crazing. It's gorgeous. I don't know the pattern. It says Orient Wear Japan under glaze hand painted. So I thought that was beautiful. Oh, the sun just came out and completely changed the lighting. We're just gonna have to, oh, there, there. Now the sun's behind a cloud, so it's a little bit better. Anyway, I thought that was lovely. And then these are the trays that I showed you and mentioned. So here's the one that I've seen and I have this one. But then this is one I've never seen. Oh, I love it, it's so cute. Isn't that adorable? I love it. I'm super pleased with that. So. I might sell this one off at Christmas time in my shop, but I'm gonna hold on to this one because now I, because I already have one of these that I think I got, I don't remember if it was my mom's or if I got it from the bins, I really don't remember. But anyway, I'm gonna add this one to my collection. Maybe there's more, I don't know. Have you ever seen other patterns? Okay, and I did pick up this little spritzer. The guy said it's for plants know what all that white crud in there is so I need to clean this out but it's super cool I'm not sure I'll actually use it but it's gonna look super cute sitting on a shelf in a display right once I get the crud out of it so but that was cool I picked up the Calumet double acting baking powder can so these are pretty collectible I think I have a smaller one I'm not even sure where that is hmm. but pick that up that was a dollar and then I also got this guy for a dollar. It's like one of these um, Toby mugs, like I said. This one says J Hull. I think that's what that says. I don't know anything about it. I haven't looked it up yet, but I thought that was pretty cute. And it's not a mug. It's This one's a pitcher. Oh, it looks like maybe someone um, like painted it. Maybe it got chipped or something. I don't know. But I thought he was pretty cute. So well, I don't know where I'll put him. That was pretty cute. So that was cool. And then I also got this tin. This was also on the bargain table, the 25 cent table. And it has some goodies in it. So I got this little goose. I'm not super into geese, but I thought this one was cute because it has blue flowers on it. So I'm just probably gonna sit this in my china cabinet with my blue dishes. I thought that'd be cute like that a lot and then I got this for my vintage tree it needs a little help maybe the other side is like I don't know if it had anything on it and they would fallen off or if it was just always blank I might add a little something to it but I thought it was pretty for my vintage tree so I picked that up and then I also picked this up I don't know I don't know if it's supposed to be like a dream catcher or something I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be but oh, that was kind of cool it's got shells on it kind of neat, different. Okay, so that is all that I picked up at the estate sale. I was really pleased with my purchases. You know, I love vintage and there was just a lot of good stuff there. I probably could have spent more money, but you know, I have to spread the budget out. I go, I go, I like going thrifting a lot. So I don't always buy like too many things in one place because I want to have money left for the next place. So that's all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed my thrift store haul and my estate sale haul. And I might be slightly bombarding you with videos in the next few weeks. I've been thrifting a ton and I don't like to get behind with my footage because it gives me stress. <laughs> So I'm probably going to be making more videos than usual. I hope that's okay. You don't have to watch them all, but they will be there for if you get bored at some point in the future. 
and please take care of yourselves. I hope you're having a lovely Memorial Day and thank you to all who have served, who have given the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you to those who are currently serving. I know that's not what Memorial Day is for, but thank you. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.